It can reach naught to 100 kilometers per hour in just seven seconds, reaching a maximum speed of 200 kilometers per hour and only costing one penny per mile to run. Yes, the future's electric and the future's right here at Imperial College London. Can you tell us about Racing Green Endurance? Yeah, the project's been going on for a year now and through a year of building and testing the car, putting in many, many hours into it, it's ready to undertake one of its biggest challenges yet and to prove that it is the longest range electric vehicle in the world. So what we've done today is use this press launch to advertise the fact that we're taking this car twice around the M25 on a single charge. No electric car has done that yet and we aim to make a world record with this. But this is just a precursor to what we're actually doing with the car. Taking this car from Pruto Bay in Alaska down to the southernmost city in the world in Argentina. 26,000 kilometer adventure, three months in this vehicle and it's going to be a blast. What was the reason for building the car? Well, public perceptions of electric vehicle at the moment are quite low. You look at milk floats and that kind of thing driving around and there's not much eagerness for electric vehicles. So we've built this car to prove that electric vehicles can be fast, sexy and really long range and prove they're a viable option to tackle climate change now. Well, the Energy Futures Lab got involved in this a few years ago, setting up an educational programme, the Racing Green programme, to get young scientists and engineers involved in developing zero emission race cars. And it's from that that this very exciting project has evolved. Can you tell me how the car works? Well, yes, this is a battery electric sports car. Basically, we have a large battery pack here and in the side pods. They feed DC current into these inverters here, the blue boxes, which convert the DC current from the batteries into AC current for the motors. On top here, you have a, a charger, which you can plug into any main socket, and that will charge the battery pack. Well, emissions from the transport sector are the fastest growing emissions in the UK, as they are in many countries. This project is all about developing new technology for low carbon vehicles. That's why it's so important. In the next few weeks, the team will begin their 26,000 kilometre trek across two continents. The journey begins here.